Thatch Wynn, founder of Thatch Real Estate. I am here with my friend Keen from Cobalt Mortgage, and uh, we want to talk about FHA. Right. You said there's a new chain with FHA. Tell us about that. Yeah, there's actually a lot of them. So okay. there's a lot of them that are changing, but there's a couple that are going to be pretty impactful. Uh, the first one's a little obvious, which is they're raising the mortgage insurance premiums again. Um, which means that the cost of the loans are going to go up. So even if rates stay low, the cost of getting a loan from the mortgage insurance charge from the government on FHA loans is going up. So like, what is how you said how much gone up? So I mean, for the viewer that doesn't know, I mean, what was it before? What is it now? For example, you should probably expect your payment to increase somewhere between five to ten percent, depending on your price point. Okay. Um, the cost that they charge up front will be a little bit more. So the amount of time you should keep your loan before you get your money back is going to be a little longer too. It's going up three quarters of a percent. They used to charge one percent up front. Right. It's moving to one point seven five. Okay. So like somebody had a loan, let's say for two hundred thousand. Mm -hmm. It's cost of an extra what five percent. Approximately, uh, the principal and interest payment with the mortgage insurance is about five percent more. Five percent more. So you're looking about uh, five percent of two hundred grand, hundred bucks on right. your give or take. It's yeah. I mean, it, it, it depends on the size of the loan yeah. amount. It, ha oh, it the, you know five percent more on the smaller loan amounts because the upfront fee has more of an impact. But yeah. So what is the advantage thing of FHA? Or should people just avoid FHA loan now? With well, this new way, new change. Well, the reason why FHA premiums are going up is because they're running out of money, um, and so. Some people have to go to FHA. Credit guidelines, down payment requirements. If you're doing a rehab loan, they're two or three gig loans, so one of the most attractive ones out there. So there's a lot of benefits to FHA that still exist even if the costs go up. But yeah, if someone's well qualified, they have the extra money to go down and to put down to do a conventional loan, it's probably a better option. Because you can get 5% conventional loan, right? That's correct. Okay, all That's right. Correct. There it is, folks. That's the new information about FHA loan. If you have any more questions, get a hold of us. We'd be happy to tell you more about that or Keen, okay? All right, guys, have a great day. Remember, always dream big and serve unconditionally.